and gentlemen, let's give another big round of applause for Jared Gonzalez. Okay, Opong Anons, we have now come to a part that's once again bittersweet because we are trimming down our 10 beautiful and may say very, very deserving of the top 10 slot to only five ladies who will proceed to the next round of competition in Binibining Lapu Lapu 2023. Are you guys ready to find out who our top five is? All right, here we go. Sigipi, opong anons. Nananako diri ang results. But I want to hear you guys shout one more time. Kinza mo gitmo sa the top five. Kusog kusog lagi diri. Asa man dito. Nyang nasto nga. Kinza man. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our top five for Binibining Lapu Lapu 2023. We begin with Binibining number Binibining number four. Our next lady making it into the top five is Binibining number Kani Shagit Gitni Kusog 17 Make your way forward because you are an inch closer to the crown. Bini beating number. Bini beating number eight. Two slots remain. Our second to last Bini Bini making it into the top five is. Binibining number two. And finally, our last Binibini to make our top five is Binibining number. for Bini Beating Lapu Lapu 2023. Let's give them a round of applause. And ladies, to our five other delegates, thank you so much. All well-deserving to be in the top 10 slot. But now we only have five ladies, and one of them will be the next Bini Beating Lapu Lapu 2023. You know, ladies, they say... There is no rest for the wicked. That's why we go straight into the final round of competition here in Binibining Lapu Lapu, which is the final question and answer. Let us call on our first Binibini, Binibini number four. Hello, Bini Bini number four, please choose a question. Oi, Marag. Hello. Hello, <laughs> You are, you have very high heels, but you're also very tall na. Right? Ako, amang ko heels tonight kay PWD is the key. Where do you get your height from? Who's tall, your mom or your dad, or both? 
Actually, I think I get my jeans from both mom and dad. From both mom and dad? Yes. Ah, sa at? Mom and dad. Mom and dad. <laughs> and for you, Binibini, do you have a hobby? Actually, I am a martial artist of 11 years. I trained Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, Jiu-Jitsu. That's not very common, huh? Sa mga, for you know, young ladies to take up Jiu-Jitsu. Why Jiu-Jitsu? As a girl, I feel like it is my duty to become safe in the streets, especially as a college student. So I decided to train. Wag yung magbino ang ani ni number four. Make courage mo. One, two, three, yak tap. Okay, when you're number four, are you ready for your final question? Yes. Your question will be coming from Samantha Manigsaka. I love your look, by the way. You look very beautiful this evening. You too, you look wonderful this evening. Thank you so much. I'm inspired by my mother-in-law, Queenie Aman. Okay, your question will be coming from our judge, Ms. Samantha Manigsaka. Good evening. So a common topic of today is about diversity and equality. In the recent Miss Universe, what is your stand on having trans women Mothers and women of plus size in the pageant. Thank you so much for that wonderful question. I believe that in the Miss Universe, there is nothing wrong with having transgender mothers, ages of all kinds. Because as the humankind, we should acknowledge that all of us are different. All of us come from different stories and all of us come from different backgrounds. It doesn't matter who we are, but what we fight for. And as a Bini Bini, I think it's more important what comes from our hearts rather than what comes from our bodies. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bini Bini number four. Up next is Bini Bini. 17. Hello, Bini Bini number 17. Hello, Miss Carl. You look so beautiful tonight. Thank you so much. <laughs> Saleda. Please choose a judge. So you've won many awards this evening already. How does it feel? I feel so overwhelmed and grateful. And you know what, Miss Carla, what matters is the expression and reactions of the audience, my supporters, my family and friends who were there supporting me. Thank you so much. You do have a lot of supporters. Murag napaganito yung banda ganina. Hay naman to. Ning uli na no. Nakadawat nas bayad ha. May no sito. Okay. Lakaw sila before sa top five. Okay, binibining number 17, your judge to ask the question this evening is attorney Regal Oliva. Naasad ka ng fancy attorney. Hello, candidate number 17. Hello, attorney. Good evening. My question is, what for you is the worst invention in this century? Thank you so much. What for me is the worst invention in this century is social media. We are known for the fact that social media gives us easier life where we can access it easier. But as humans are using it in very bad way, we are using it to uh, misunderstood information. We are putting words just to um, wrong the other people. But as a Bini Bini candidate and Bini Bini Lapu Lapu 2023, what I would love to say is that we, as a newest generation of this era, we have to utilize it and use it to our best platform where we can put information and words that can transform the lives of many because we have the beauty that chronicles history. Thank you so much. 
Thank you very much, Bini Bini number 17. Up next is Bini Bini number 8. Hello, Bini Bini number 8. Hi, good evening. May I please, before anything else, please choose a judge? All right, I have to ask because you're in the you're in the middle of the top five, the right? So, how do you feel right now? Are you tired? Hungry? I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten since morning. Lulu, wala ka kaon sa pack lunch? Wala yun. So, long. Morag na ajo ning ni morag na ajo ning claims ay mo ang pack lunch. Nai buffet did to morag. Wala ka kaon sa buffet? Lulu, lumi biya ilang spicy lechon. Really? Di ka magguro to sa bay ni mayor. Logi, may yung or Becky naman. Pakaon ko na siya after. What would you want to eat after the competition? I would eat everything. Ah, everything. Yes. Daghan na ano? With only rice, no? With only rice. Do. No, oi ko niya. Inana sa datong sawal. Ako mukha ulagi kung tanan yun. Di lagi na na ako ng lawas. Flowing, flowing lang takay. Di na masigo ang gown, Char. Opera, pretty man sad. Ah. Thank you so much. Solid on the Okay, candidate number eight. Beautiful, here is your question. It is coming from another beautiful lady just like yourself. The very pretty Irma Bayud Bitzer. Good evening, candidate number eight. How are you? Good evening, miss. I'm very grateful tonight. Are you not hungry anymore after talking to Carla? <laughs> Still very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> My question is, I know that Binibining -bini -bini Lapu Lapu was not an easy journey for all of you. So, what challenges have you faced during your journey for the Binibining Lapu Lapu and how did you overcome them? I started joining pageant at a very young age and it took me five years to officially won my first ever barangay title. And in those five years, I have faced a lot of uncertainties, a lot of difficulties and criticism from other people. Joining Binibini Lapu Lapu, the hardest moment I have faced is to be authentic to myself and to believe in my dreams. But I choose to stand here tonight to inspire my fellow Upungano that no matter what happened, no matter what adversities and uncertainties that have come to your life always focus on your dreams because the moment you believe in your dreams is the moment you begin your journey to success thank you so much and maayong gabi thank you very much bini bini number eight up next is bini bini number two Hello, Bini Bini number two. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Please choose a judge before anything else. Okay, I have to ask, you guys did a preliminary competition where you had talent. What was your talent? Um, it was actually a combination of dancing and singing. Oh, dancing and singing. Yeah, it was like a live concert of Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande? Yeah. All along. That's your favorite singer? Yeah, actually, I, you know, like, her notes and my notes are similar. Oh, so you, you can ha do the high notes? Yeah. Uh, sample B. <laughs> oh. Little? Just a little? Just a little bit? I only want to die alive, never fight it, it's never broken Don't want to hear you Ligon, eh. Ligon ang talent, oy. Ansa? 
Oh, you want my talent? Okay. Nang ma in love ako sa yo. Okay, candidate number two. You do have a judge that will ask you. This is your question that stands between you and the crown. Are you ready? Yeah. Take a deep breath. Your judge is Miss Kimberly Algoso. Hello. Good evening, candidate number two. Good evening. How are you? Um, actually, I'm having a <laughs> breathing issues, maybe, because of the show. Yeah. You'll be good. Okay, so here's your question. If you could change one thing about the world we live in today, what would it be and how would you work towards making that change? Um, good evening. I do not actually consider it as change, but to improve. I want to improve something in Lapu-Lapu City that it doesn't have an eye for. The small unseen communities where it is located near the bridge. These shelters made of tin roofing, bamboo, wall to wall with each other, no sanitation, no water, no electricity. I, as a Bini Bini Lapu-Lapu candidate, want to be an eye-opener for these people. Relocate these people in a solar-powered community, in a solar-powered shelters, so that they can adapt such stable livelihood through peace and harmony. Thank you. Thank you very much to candidate number two, and our last but certainly not the least candidate this evening, Bini Bini number three. Hello, Bini Bini number three. We know each other. Yes, definitely. From where? Mm, from another pageant as well. Another pageant? Yes. I, I was hosting. Yes. Uh, Rakitera, Mangot Go, Bisa Gasa, Kumabo. Yes, Kugihan among Miss Carla. So please choose a judge. So number three, can Bini Bini number three. Yes. Is it nerve-wracking to be the last one? It's both nerve-wracking and also I also get to be inspired by the answers of the candidates. It is very nice to, to get to hear their opinions also, yes. no? So you said you, you join a lot of pageants. Yes. Any plans to join the national? Maybe soon. Do you have a pageant in mind? Mm, not really yet, but I am planning so I can expound my advocacy as well. Um, in case you're wondering, the screening for Miss Earth is in <laughs> kanang February. Noted, noted. <laughs> Okay, your question will be coming from another very powerful and strong, empowered woman. Ladies and gentlemen, your judge for this evening is Holly Dawn Daichanko. May we also ask the audience to please keep their reactions on a minimal so that our judges will be able to hear the answers of our candidates. Good evening, candidate number three. Good evening, Miss Holly. So my question for you tonight is, how would you encourage women to pursue careers in male-dominated fields? As a mass communication student, I can amplify my voice to inspire other women to go for their dreams, to go for what they want, because their capabilities does not um, judge is not judged by the gender, but because of their passion, dedication, and strength within them. If you want to have a goal and if you want to reach it, just go for it. The fact that I am standing right here in front of you means that I aimed for my goal and that I went for it. And as your Bini Bini Lapu Lapu 2023, I want to set as a reminder that I will not only be the voice of the voiceless, but also let others be their own voice. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bini Bini number three. There you have it all, Bonganons, our top five finalists for this year's Bini Bini Lapu Lapu 2023. You have seen these ladies give it all on this stage from walking, from walking the walk to talking the talk. It's now up to our very credible judges to determine which one of them will be the new Bini Bini Lapu Lapu 2023. 
And now we leave you guys with this. Please focus your attention on our AVPs because once again, we have a lot of people to say a very big opongan and thank you too. So to all of our sponsors, all of our judges, our Execom Committee, Dakang Salamat. From the past year, a queen has embodied grace, wisdom, and resilience. She represented Binibining Lapu-Lapu with unwavering dedication, taking on various responsibilities and leaving a persisting mark on our hearts. As we prepare to bid her farewell, let us take a moment to celebrate her reign, her achievements, and the lasting impact she had in our pageant and our community. Ladies and gentlemen, the epitome of grace and beauty, our reigning Binibining Lapu-Lapu 2022, Miss Sharon Kishiska, as she passes on the crown and the legacy she built for her farewell walk. Mm -hmm. My journey as Binibining Lapu-Lapu 2022 was a whirlwind of a chapter that only once thought was a faraway dream. I have never imagined myself to be standing in front of all of the loud and proud of Pohanans before me and be held as your queen. It is my both my honor and privilege to be part of a such a beautiful and vibrant community that is Lapo Lapo. There is simply so many people to be grateful for. I stand here today not only as myself, but as a product of all the people that I have impacted in me, so many ways to become the woman I am today. To the chairman of Binibining Lapu Lapu, Cup Jasmine Dadai Chan, with the support of Congresswoman Cindy King Chan and Mayor Hong Chan, thank you for allowing me this opportunity to be Lapu Lapu City's muse. To Mr. Julius Espinosa, and the team behind the Binibining Lapu Lapu. Thank you for your unceasing support in all my endeavors and for making my dreams come true with your leadership and guidance. To my GLAM team, Ms. Lloyda Aitana and Ms. Lance Kenyazaris, thank you for making me feel beautiful and ethereal every time I step on stage. And also to Sir Dexter Alasis, Doc Lorna from Amor Dental Clinics, and to Light Matter Studio for seeing the potential in me and for rooting for me all throughout my Bini Bini Lapu Lapu journey. To Sir Philip Tampos for allowing me to wear his beautiful creations and his symbol, as well as to Tito Andrew for support all the way. To my family, relatives, and friends who have never failed to scream to the world how proud they are of me and my achievements in life. To everyone who have been part of my journey, know that my heart goes out to you for your love, kindness, and support. This has been Sharon Kish's Be Call, your reigning Bini Bini Lapu Lapu 2022, now passing on her crown to the next embellished queen of Lapu Lapu City. Opunganans, it has been both an honor and privilege to be your adored Bini Bini. May all the Opunganans continue to shower their new queen with kindness, love, admiration as she begins to reign. Daghang salamat, ugmaayong gabi, Lapu Lapu City. Lapu Lapu 2022, Sharon Kishiska and her court. Let us all give them a big round of applause.
again, ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause to your reigning Bini Bini Lapu Lapu 2022, Cheron Kechesco, and her court for a job well done, ladies. Thank you very much for representing the city of Lapu Lapu so gracefully this past year. All right, Opunganons. In just a little bit, we will know who the new Binibining Lapu Lapu is. Any bets? Kinsaman? Oh, na, diri. Dito. Kinsaman. Lain, lain. Oh, we have from our VIP table also their own bets. You know, these ladies, it takes really a village to get them ready and to really prep them to before the uh, finals night or the coronation night, as I'm sure all our reigning queens agree with. So can we take this moment, ladies and gentlemen, to give a big thank you, round of applause to all of the makeup artists, designers, mentors, handlers, hairstylists, the whole shebang that really put all of this together and all their efforts for our ladies. A big round of applause for them. I would also like to give a very big thank you to Jay Failanga, my love. Thank you very much. All right, here we go. Once again, also a very big thank you to all of our judges this evening. Thank you for taking time from your very busy schedules. I know that most of you have come from here and there. Some really even rearranging their travel itineraries just to be here this evening. So thank you very much for all your support for Bidibining Lapu Lapu. And we know whoever you guys have chosen will represent Lapu Lapu very well in the next year. And a very big thank you as well to the mother and father of the city of Lapu Lapu, Mayor Junard Ahong Chan, with his very lovely, beautiful wife, Congresswoman Honorable Cindy Chan.